Hello everyone, welcome back to Summerland. We have a... We have a couple more things to get through here. A couple more memories, or trials, I guess. Oof. Alright, so we're back in here again. And that, my friend, is why you're in here with me. Cleaning up evidence from a crime yes, scene? Yes, we're cleaning up evidence. Me. I mean, not really, but still. All for what? Some money? That's a little thing I like to call greed, and it does not look good on you. You know, I think there's a little more I'd like to learn about you. Head into the next room. I want to test something. Yep. I think I remember doing this actually last, last episode. Um, yeah. You're gonna ring. Let me start with an example. Say you're in a room with a button, yeah. and you know that we, something we already will went over this. when you press that button. You don't know exactly what, but something will happen. I don't think there's anything happen. else in here. It could be something terrific, something that could save lives. It could also be catastrophic, killing orphans and puppies the whole nine yards. But you have absolutely no way of knowing. What you do know is that you have agency over whether or not you press that button. Pressing it is entirely your choice. With yes. that said, if you did press the button, should you be held accountable for the consequences of these actions, even if you didn't know what they would be? Should someone be held accountable for something in which they have agency, but no knowledge on the possible outcome? Answer by pressing the button of which you agree most strongly with. Once yes. you're finished, exit back out into the hallway. Your next trial is waiting. Yep, there we go. That's the one I picked last time. There we go. So yeah, now we're all caught up. We're going to trial five now. Oh, we're back home again. We need to turn the lights on again. Ooh, we're not getting any sort of introduction this time. That light was already on. So I guess let's look for anything that's changed. Oh, the baby's over here now. Hey, little buddy. I know, I know. Let me get you something to eat. Oh, darn it. Where'd I put the baby food? In the no, fridge? I already got it out of there. Set it down somewhere. Uh, oh, please don't start crying again. I don't see it on your counters. Where did you put the baby food, dude? Oh, why'd you put it on the dining room table? There you are. Let's get this to Joseph. <laughs> there you go, buddy. Eat up. Oh, he ate that fast. Are you getting tired? Come on. Let's put you down for a nap. Nap time. I'm never going to let anything happen to you, buddy. You're going to be okay. I'm going to make sure I'm okay. So I can take care of you. And get that money. Don't you worry. This would be a bad time for an episode. I'm going to get the baby Sleep down. Tight, okay. Buddy. Okay, I need to get some work done. Yep. I'll check on the mail, maybe my email too. Water has been acting up a bit too. Maybe I can check that out in the basement. Okay, so we've got to check the mail, the email, and then the basement. Wait, they're gonna start laying off officers? I, Oof. I can't lose this job. <clears throat> That's bad, man. He needs to talk to his boss, man. Figure out what's actually going on. Uh. Shit, I'm all out of meds. Uh-oh. I think I might be able to afford a bit more this week. Wait, you're all out- so you don't have any on you right now? Just an old closet. I don't need anything in there at the moment. Oh, see, this is bad. Um. I don't recall seeing any meds anywhere, so... More bills. I, I can't pay for all of these. I'm gonna need to prioritize. 
That's, that's getting, that sounds rough, man. That's getting real rough. Oh, don't tell me he's gonna... No, because we got three more memories. So this shouldn't be it for our hero here, our protagonist. This'll help with the water tank. There. That should fix things. Nice. You don't have very many cans down here. I hope that's not all your canned food storage. Ooh. Hello? Jesus. At least pretend to be happy to hear from me. What do you need me to do? Nah. You really aren't any fun, are you? Charlie, just tell me what the hell you need me to do. Hey, 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 relax, man. Keep cool. I got another job for you. And then I get my money? And then you'll get your money. Hmm, I don't What's know. I think it was supposed to you get the, money the last one. Eighth. Yeah, what about it? No, don't tell That's me. That's my laundromat, and I have a bit of evidence there. You're fronting using a laundromat? How cliche can Hey! You... I didn't ask for you to tell me how to run my yeah. goddamn business! I... This guy's loud. I'm sorry. He's angry. What do you need? We're moving our operations elsewhere. Go to the laundromat tomorrow night and clean up the, uh, <clears throat> back room. Okay, I'll, uh... I'll take care of it. I'll give you more info later. One last job, then I get the money. Finish this, and you'll have enough to take care of everything you need. Good. That doesn't... I I'll don't think there. that's gonna be the case. Already, he didn't keep up one one promise. He's... We we're gonna do that one thing to get some money, but nope. Didn't keep it up. You, uh... You really cared about that boy, huh? I mean, not to discredit this whole process, I'm sure you're still a terrible person, just you seem like a good dad, is all. I don't know, it's odd. I think yeah. you only see the bad when I'm judging people. I don't understand why I'm seeing all this. But again, you're still a terrible person. Yeah. You really are more black and white than you think. You, you really think so? Anyway, what's the deal with you and this Charlie guy? He seems a bit sketchy. Is he why you're here? Did you cross him? Just one wrong move and then... <laughs> no, no, that'd be too easy. No, oh, whatever. Head on outside. Your next trial is waiting for you. I'm trying. Okay. Now on the trial number six. Ah, oh, yes, the laundromat. I guess I need to clean this place up from evidence. Yeah, what did Charlie say? Yeah, four quarters in the out-of-order machine. Turn the coin slot crank three times. Okay, do we have court? No, we have to collect uh, all quarter. the quarters. Well, one down, three more to go. You couldn't supply us with quarters at least? Let's see, where's the rest of the quarters? Any in the trash? No. Someone left their bag here. What's this duffel bag doing here? Hmm. Empty. Are we sure it's empty? <clears throat> you know, there's surveillance cameras here. I don't know if that's the guy judging me. But, uh... Probably something to keep in mind that's going on. Oh, yeah, I've ran out of... Oh, wait, there we go. Oh. How did I almost miss that? Okay. One more quarter. Already got one off this table. Oh, maybe in the vending machine? Can I press the coin return button? No? Hmm. Where is the last quarter? On the floor? Hmm. I already checked the trash cans. No? Hmm. 
There are two machines that are out of order. Oh, wait, there it is. Right there. That should just about do it. Now, let's put these to use. Uh, I guess these are so the same machine. For these, and there it goes. Oh, look at that. I love how it's able to slide out without any kind of mechanism moving it. It's so dark in here and cold. Yeah, maybe we should have brought a flashlight with us. Okay, let's check this out. Charlie seemed to emphasize wanting his laptop's hard drive erased. Maybe I should start there. UV for ultraviolet light. Let me guess, I didn't bring a rag at all? Yeah, this is definitely something that needs cleaning up. It's too big, though. It needs something to carry it in. Yeah, this will need to go. Hmm. Yeah, this is definitely something that needs cleaning up. It's too big, though. It needs something to carry it in. A box? Well, I guess this is how they kept this room warm. It's freezing down here. Uh -huh. I have my own towel this time. Live and learn. Yeah, this is definitely something that needs oh, okay. cleaning up. The trash can. It's too big, though. It needs something to carry it in. Trash can. Literally the trash can. No. Good thing Charlie gave me the code to do this. Can't imagine he gives that out too freely. Yeah, this yeah. is definitely something that needs cleaning up. It's too big, though. It needs something to carry it in. Okay, I guess I gotta do the laptop Let's first. Let's see what... Oh, damn it. Charlie didn't give me the password. I'll get the rest of this sorted out and then I'll call Charlie about it. Hmm. So yeah, are we gonna use the trash can? No. One of the boxes, maybe? No. I guess we're gonna go upstairs. Oh, the trolley maybe? Oh, that ain't coming down the stairs, though. Oh, this ain't good. <sighs> Shit. Come on. My, my pills. Oh, wait, wait. There you go. Oh, I forgot oh. E for pills. Shit. That was my last. I just need to stay upright until I can get some more. Hmm. This should help me carry everything down there. Dude, all I gotta say is... You're running a risky game. <laughs> Looks like a few of these guys weren't having a great game. Best I clean all of this up. Jesus, what were you planning to do with these, Charlie? Yeah. Oh, Charlie's got a small fortune down here. Just skim some of that off the I top. I guess this explains where a lot of this money is coming from. How many people is he dealing to? This must have been Charlie's private stash. No surprise. Biggest chunk of money and the biggest guns. That everything? Back to the laptop? Call Charlie? No? Oh. Oh, 8 of 10. I already got that. No handprints on the door. No. A hole in the floor. Oh, do the boxes need to go too? No. Posters? No. They were using these cameras as a lookout. Ah. It's best to have that footage wiped. Okay, I need to get that laptop password. Yes. No, oh, this ain't gonna be good. Hello? What is it? Did you mess something up? No, just... I need the password for your laptop. Oh, yeah, right. My bad. It's, uh... It's Beverly217. Beverly? Yeah, what about it? We got a problem with- No problem. I'll get back to it. But after this, I want my money. And you'll get it. 
do this for me, and you're out. <sighs> okay. I feel like this is gonna end poorly. Why is he taking so long to get down and type this in? Matthew? Evelyn? What are you doing here? Uh -oh. I know what you've been doing. What are you talking uh -oh. about? Listen, I may be new to the Force, but I'm not stupid. You've been taking evidence from the scenes. I saw you driving here, and I followed no, you. No, Evelyn, please. You don't understand. Is it just for the money? Matt, I understand the pay cuts are bad, hey. but... But this? I you looked up understand. to you. I'm sorry, Ev... Don't try to apologize. You know I have to report this. I know, no, but don't, please... Don't. I need this. Listen, Matthew. I have too much respect for you. We haven't known each other long, but I understand that you've been serving for decades. I... And you've been highly regarded. I'm gonna have to ask you to turn yourself in. What? What authority do you have Leave to- with your dignity intact and turn yourself in. Yee. You- You need to own up Please, to- Please, Ev. I need this job. I'm not going to ask you again. Oh. That's what happens when you try okay. to take shortcuts. Uh-oh. Hello? Hey, it's Charlie. I know who it is. Where can I get my money? That's what I was calling you about. Uh, Matt? No, I knew that I was coming. What? Charlie, what do you mean you can't pay me? I said you needed to finish the job. My laptop is still sitting there with all of my information on it. That doesn't sound like a done job to me. Charlie, you son of a bitch. Plus, money is tight. I need What do you mean money's tight? If I recall, I just cleaned hundreds of thousands of dollars out of your basement. I have a life. I need this. I'm going to lose everything over this. And whose fault is that? You're the asshole that decided to work for Man, me. They're really I yelling. appreciate the help. So as a courtesy payment, let's just cut ties clean. You've got too much dirt on yourself to report me, and I won't send anyone to kill you. We'll call it even. Please. This conversation is over. Yee -hole. That's not good, man. Uh, he took a shortcut, and he got burned. That's what happens. I'm having a lot of trouble understanding you. What you're doing is awful, but you seem to have remorse. I mean, your intentions are good, but God, yeah. I just... What you're doing is inherently bad. You are committing yeah. crimes, you are helping criminals, but no, no. You know what? I deal with the bad people. And if I deal with the bad people, then you're a bad person. What was it you said before? I don't have much remorse. If you've done something bad, then you deserve the punishment. <laughs> well, good. Glad that's all sorted yeah, out. Yeah, no, I guess I did say Before that. Before you go into your next trial, I wanted to question you just one last time, if you'll indulge me. <laughs> I say that like you have a choice. Okay, into the next room you go. Chop, chop. Okay, let's see here. Yep, another one of these. Okay, what's the dilemma you're gonna face me with now? I don't think it's any secret that people act on instinct, at least partially. What's a bit more yes. divisive is what those instincts are exactly. Fair Some would enough. argue that, by nature, the human race cares about survival and protecting what's close to them. They want to yeah. ensure that their lives are protected and live to the fullest. In short, they believe that people are inherently selfish. On the other hand, some people believe that people will naturally disregard their own wants and desires for the betterment of a larger community. People would rather benefit that the would world be nice. as a whole rather than benefit themselves. In short, not selfish. So what do you think? Are people inherently selfish by nature or no? Once you hmm. answer, head back through the door to your next trial. It's actually a question I pondered quite a bit, and I have to go with that option. I mean, I don't know. That's a whole topic for another time. But that's all we got time for in this episode. Next time we're going to get into 7 and 8. Maybe even whatever this last door is. So if you guys like this, please drop a like. 
If you guys want to see more of this, by all means, subscribe. And I'll catch you guys next time.